This is without a doubt going to be the most unusual videos I've made. One of the reasons why it's unusual is because I'm doing something really sort of physical, challenging, common even, and doing it with the soft ASMR style. And so join me for this deep and intense look into setting up my crystals on the mantle. You saw last week when I gave you a tour of everyone, I was wrong. There's so many more crystals. We're going to unbox in just a second. And then we're going to show you the state of my apothecary right now. On multiple channels, we're utilizing my apothecary. On Jason's channel, they are actually showing them setting up some of the railing, some of the apothecary drying systems. My bespoke candle service now has a permanent setup, which I'm so excited about. And so you'll be able to watch it come to life over on his channel as well. He's got a lot of energy on his channel right now. He hit a thousand subscribers and is just keeping on flying. His thing is, uh, producing lots of different shorts and YouTube is cranking on shorts right now. So I appreciate and I you telling me I need to do shorts. I'm thinking and trying to do it all. The prom was last weekend for both of our kids. So they'll both have prom videos this week. And at the end of this video, I'll show you some of their looks for the prom. We had an amazing time with one family that we've known for a long time, but other families that were really new to us. And it was so much fun. I just had the biggest blast. I didn't want to leave Jason and I after we said goodbye to the kids and they took off in their group, in their stretch limo. We went on a date and just had a really lovely time. It's because of these crystals, I'm telling you. And I gave each one of the kids a matching crystal. They all had a sort of uh, milky and clear quartz heart. And it was just really lovely to connect them in that special way. So let's light our ritual candle. I'm going to keep you on the tiny mic with me. I blessedly have the house to myself right now, and let's just enjoy this ASMR style full crystal setup and apothecary plus seedlings and prom content video. <laughs> What's going on for you? Tell me in the comments everything that's happening in your life. I know it's a busy time of year for a lot of folks. I'm filming this on Beltane. So more than anything, I'm wishing you a sacred, passionate, gorgeous, luscious, sexy Beltane. Let's go. I light the last of this gorgeous three wick candle I love so much, Ebony Sands. See that cute little elephant on there? Set your intention for this session and the time that we're sharing together. All of the sacreds that you'll witness in my apothecary are just talking and floating and moving and inviting me in. And there's some new buddies at the end of the video. I'll kind of do a little bit of a vlog style of some of the things that I picked up. I was shopping yesterday. Let's set your intention for what's happening with the sacreds in your home right now. Set the intention for Beltane. Set your intention whenever you witness this.
I light this candle in the name of love and perfect love and perfect trust to alert our spirit guides that we're here, we're open, we're listening, and we're ready to receive the messages that are meant for us. Gorgeous. chalice like beautiful I don't know I turned off the autofocus so it probably won't show but there's a chalice like logo on this beautiful box and there's so many crystals we've got some beautiful jet arrowheads two of them A gorgeous polished amethyst. There are three of them. And this is gorgeous ocean jasper. I love it so much. Teresa turned me on to ocean jasper and I love it. There are three of these. And the final one, probably my favorite just beautiful and two selenite orbs this is from Madison's company called ace of cups that's why the chalice logo is there these crystals came with their ace of cups wine and crystal subscription box that they gifted me thank you Madison Madison's the owner of open eye crystals and their side business is Ace of Cups. We had a great evening wine tasting and playing with these crystals. Oh, I'm so excited. Louise, remember these? So fun. Let's move over to the crystals now. All right, so my apothecary is over here in the west corner of my house. And at night I've been bringing the little seedlings in so we're gonna check the seedlings right now and then I'll let you know everything that's going on after I show you the seedlings I'll flash my crystals to you okay here we go behold look at the babies these are the evening Sun sunflowers minus one one of my dear Dear lovely coveners, had a birthday on Friday and I took that Venusian angel out for a lunch and gave her one of the babies. These are the cat grasses for juniper and this is the catnip and there's just one little tiny guy coming up there in the corner. And then we've got Boone's cactus that's been helping him keep it together while he decides where to go to university. And my jojoba from my amazing love, Olivia. And here's our Chinese money plants, positively crushing it. The world's most awesome jar. I mean, look how big this is compared to my arm. Is that a fabulous jar? Quick little reminder from a different angle. This is the Heart Stones collection. Another big selenite wand showed up that I hadn't shown in the video. And wonderful Teresa told me in the comments, all my crystals video, what some of the crystals were that she had sent. I'm thinking maybe the skulls want to be in the moon. They will definitely let me know. Sassy. Here comes Juniper. Hey, kitty. Hello. Are you helping me? Thank you, kitty. Are you here to help? It's going to be so beautiful. All right, y'all. Here we go. Here's a close-up of the space that we have to deal with. It's a pretty long mantle. And that's a print 
of the Leonora Carrington exquisite piece called How Doth the Crocodile. Absolutely wonderful. Please pardon me while I jiggle this a little bit to get you up to see this unreal. Can you believe how gorgeous this is? Jason and I matted it in black velvet with a gold frame and I'm so happy with it. But I mean, honestly, Leonora Carrington, you amazing, fierce, exquisite Aries. Look at this scenario with the black broom. How good is that? And then our nice moon shelf and colored lights. Yes, please. Yeah, and, and because we hardly use our fireplace, I just got these arrangements of dried flowers that I actually really love there. Because there's no window over here, I mean, we've got a window there. It can be dark over here. This is the north west corner and these crystals just want to bring this part of my home to life and I'm thrilled. Hi. I'm going to clear a couple of things off. I wanted this chart from Grace Duong's Crystal Grid deck up all night just to kind of hone and tone and warn this area there's new folks coming in town. And then this is artwork that my son made when he was just a little guy. And he's so busy right now. I just thought I'd enjoy that up by the mantle. Not really sure what I'm going to do with these black beads. You've got a little family portrait from two Christmases ago. There's the fam. Not really sure what I'm going to do with these black beads, but I'm loving them. They're so good. So off to the side they go. Good sounds. And let's clean this baby off. I've got this nice tray that I kind of want to just use to scape. And therefore I can pull the crystals out anytime I want. I've also got to clean up this nice marble tray that has a lot of incense dust on it. Nice vintage stuff. This is the vintage Kurok. Do you know that brand, Kurok? Here. Do you see that word? C-O-U-R-O-C, -O -O Kurok. Great stuff. This is the California Poppy Small Tray. Love using this. And then I've got some nice pictures and things, but I want to see just what it feels like and looks like with just the crystals up there. Oh my goodness, look what's underneath this black picture. The fabulous book by Erica Feldman called House Magic. They have a shop in Salem called House Witch. There we go. Hello, Cat Luminati people. See me packing Cat Luminati heat. We'll do some crystal scaping. There's some fam sounds. The kids are home from school now. One of the six AP classes has been taken. Between the two of them, they're each taking three AP tests. Do we like? Simple Green, everybody. Do you know Simple Green? It's created in here in Huntington Beach, just up the road. This really needs a, just a fresh coat of paint. I did a little practice yesterday and I really liked the scape plan that I came up with and then all of a sudden the moon wanted to move over here because those little owlies up top wanted to live in the moon. Wow. 
relax on this side. Nothing that won't lift right off. Now it's time for us to wipe down some of these marble features. I know you're not supposed to use any old cleaner on marble, but it's just a simple little disc and it's got feet on it on the bottom and it really stacks up nicely. It just gives a little lift and features a darker crystal really beautifully. Honestly though, Everybody's different. Everybody loves different things. I love vintage and then yesterday I went out and bought a whole bunch of new stuff. I was just feeling my Beltane oats. So what are you going to do? It's been so long since my apothecary has been. Well, actually, I've never had the dream apothecary that I've always wanted. So I'm hoping we get there literally this week and you'll be able to see that on my channel and Jason's channel and probably Faye's channel. Who knows? Boone did a study with me video in my apothecary the other day. So <laughs> good is good. The body knows they're just pulled in by all of those seeds and plants that are either dried or fresh blossoms and moon water. I don't burn incense at all like I used to because I understand that it's not that healthy for cats. Any essential oils or smoke that's in the air settles on their fur and then they clean themselves and it's not really healthy. Fun fact, I don't want to be cremated for that reason. I don't want to be in particulates that pollute the air. Take this skeleton and lay her right back into the sweet earth and plant a nice tree. What kind of tree would I want to be buried beneath? I love my manzanita. Something that definitely was native to that soil. Nothing fussy, obtrusive. Nothing that has to fight for life there or that life around it is invaded by its presence. This is a, a really lovely kind of breadboard that I can hang up over in my apothecary. I don't know if crystals want to be on it. Let's just look and see if it fits. See it hangs off just a bit so this is a no for me but how good would that be hanging on a rail? Love it. I love these guys. I've been putting incense burners on them but since we haven't been burning incense as much. I think crystals would look fabulous on these. In the very end of 2019 I had a total hip replacement and before that I wanted to create an incredibly intentional loving spell like home and my girlfriend Annie is an energy worker and does kind of sacred decorating. She helped me and I told her the theme I was looking for was Comfort Palace. Since then so many things have changed in my life and the Comfort Palace theme just keeps going and going. Aren't these gorgeous? Let's see if these fit. Oh, they're lovely with that gold edge. Isn't that nice? Do these want to be anchors? How do they want to exist? We're going to have to check it out together. Yesterday I had scaped this and I had it right here. It looked gorgeous and then all of a sudden the moon went up. So I don't know where this wants to live now. Let's begin taking up that space right there, shall we? I've got my ritual knife handy as well, just to chip off any old candle wax in any of these vessels. Tell me you're a witch without telling me you're a witch. You have got a hammered old semi burnt 30 year old knife in your apothecary. I'll tell you what though, and I said this in many videos before, 
The nicer quality pumpkin carving kits have really fabulous pokers, scrapers that are all metal with metal handles. Those are the way to go if you're looking to build your apothecary. For me, this came from one of my old clients from my hair salon who was putting themselves through college by selling knives. I mean, you know I was their number one customer. All right, isn't that pretty? I love this so much. And that's going to hold some collection of crystals. Maybe I'll put the ones from Duke from my uh, All My Crystals video in here. They might get along in there. I love this glass dish. I must have received this for a gift. I feel like I've never seen it before. Isn't that gorgeous? But I think this will look really nice with a collection of crystals or one prominent crystal on there. Maybe a tower. Of course, salt from Hawaii from my friend Lacey. I'm going to put one or two grains along the mantle. I've never seen juniper up there. I don't think she'll get up there, but I just want to be so careful. Off go the sexy house witch gloves. There we go. All right, escape with me. A little bit of birch. Isn't that pretty? Real birch wood. This is the cappuccino jasper that Teresa gave me, and they commented the names of all of the crystals that I wasn't certain about. Thank you, Teresa. Mm, cappuccino, anyone? How beautiful is this? stone rose quartz. Just grouping, huh? Oh, I love it. I'm going to watch this video back and forth and back and forth to figure it out. Does this boat want to float all the way down? I'm going to show you the reason why I think no. When I put this obsidian right in the middle, it gets swallowed up by the black velvet. So I think this is the little ship of dreams that belongs between the moon. What do you think? wax candles from that company I love so much called Root. Oh my goodness, it's wonderfully overwhelming. More birch. That's not quite balanced. I don't know. I don't know. I'm going through some things over here. Maybe one birch on each end for balance. There, now you can see everything. Oh, that looks nice. Let's begin with our skulls and see if they want to be in the moon. Are they 
scully enough, if that makes any sense. I love it, the owls on top and the skulls in the middle, love it. That could be really good. Let's see if we can't find a really lovely, prominent, perhaps the nice candle. Oh, that looks nice. We'll get a close up of this in just a second. Gorgeous. It, they don't have to live here forever. I just know that they want to live here now. They want to be together now. Probably need to put Juniper right there. Let's get some characters in here, shall we? Oh, goody, yeah. The lapis my son gave me. The selenite we constantly use. Oh, look at that glinting. Ooh, I love it. A big selenite bar, which I love. That looks gorgeous. Raw selenite, yes please. How about some more towers? Maybe for the time being, all the towers want to hang out together. I'm certain that these two want to hang out again. So we found out from one of our friends on YouTube that this is angelite. Isn't it beautiful? Look. Beautiful. That's more like it. I don't even know where everything's gonna go. Guess what I figured out after all my crystals video went up. There are different simple angles that increase in sides for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, all the chakras of the body. Hello. Love it so much. This might want to live at the apothecary as well because it's so useful for chakra balancing. I want to show you some of the things that I know are going to the apothecary. The simple platform crystal bread and this little magical chest that holds three selenites. I know this will be going over to the apothecary for my work. Beautiful. Look. And this one came from my first year with the witch's box. Okay, we're gonna bring a big haul in and see how they do. Our moon grid that my brother made me on this little slice of wood holds so many gorgeous crystals. <laughs> current events. This is what we've got so far. And now I'm deciding the things that will end up at the apothecary that I work with all the time, or they want to live up here in the decor. Let's just take a peek. I don't know if this is going to fit. Nope. Now yeah, it takes away from Leonora and the moon way too much. So this is going to come over to be physically worked with all the time in my apothecary. And all the hearts too. They're, they're really obsessed with being together right now. And I'll show you everything close up as well. But it's coming along. Isn't it pretty? I love it. I am feeling so accomplished right now. And I want it kind of give you a closer look and then I also want to kind of show you what wanted to go back to the apothecary to be more sort of hands-on work collab with me. Let's get a close-up of the mantle now. I'm so grateful for my trees, 
for telling me that this is the thing to do now. Wouldn't be me if we didn't light our ritual candle. this candle in such gratitude and happy birthday Aries Queen Leo this candle and its pair twin alerts our spirit guides that we're here we're open we're listening and we're ready to receive the messages that are meant for us oh yes Let's get a closer look at everything that we've done. How lovely and fresh and hearty at the same time does this entire mantle look. It looks like a magnificent feast. So you can see everything that popped in in 4k deliciousness thank you for those that appreciate my crazy 4k videos please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel especially because my next video is the apothecary tour everything is shifting and changing This whole setup is just like, mm-hmm, yes, thank you, please. I am just so grateful to everybody that's given me these crystals, mainly, oh my goodness, Teresa, Jackie, Jillian. Oh, look at our moon buddies. This became characters. The snake is here. The juniper obsidians here, the towers. Yes, dun dun dun, the skulls. And then here's my little family, little owls in the moon. see why we witches love our obsidian you can see a perfect reflection didn't these marble charcuterie boards turn out great I never would have thought that rainbow obsidian would have been our centerpiece this is what needs to be worked with by hand every day at work. I've got all these little ceramic drawers that hold some of our spell elements. I've got my hard-working selenite wands in here and nothing in this bottom one yet but all of these are going to be moving over to the apothecary now. All the hearts will be over there. I've got the chakra stones my brother sent me. And he doesn't know this, but he sent my parents a cedar plank with a smoked salmon and some other happy things on it, and they gave it to me, which is their way now. And I said, oh, I'm going to be about that cedar plank. This thing is awesome. Hang out now and take a peek at a little bit of prom footage and other happy things, and then subscribe to my Sweetie's channel to see him assist me in building out my apothecary. And you can see Boone's study with me video where he is working in my apothecary at my marble tarot table, which is such a great, useful 13-minute video when you just need to crank out, maybe pay your bills and you need some company to do it. I happen to know that there is an amazing woman in this house who is editing a book haul video. Hi. Oh, I'm not in my car this time. I'm in Daddy's truck because I am 
wholeheartedly and deeply into the magic of creating the apothecary of my dreams. This is a season all about dreams coming true. And this is happening in the most bespoke, unique, I never could have seen it coming way where I'm meant to receive and I'm a Taurus rising and for this to be happening in Taurus season which I feel like is like the embodiment of the Emprex card in Moon Baby Magic Tarot where we languidly receive while the whole world worships our pleasure this is kind of how this project is going. So this week you'll be able to witness on at least two of the family's channels how this apothecary is coming to life. I'm going to run into Michael's right now and see if they have some of the needs, these really specific needs I have for my apothecary. So yes, this is my Sunday gentle vlog and I had to show you what's going on with the seeds. Everything is just popping off. And all I want to do is just be outdoors and listen to the trees and nurture these seeds and make space for my apothecary of dreams to truly come to life with the total support of my sweetie and my kids and our community, our worldwide coven and my witchcraft club within. This is a time that is just so essential to center and protect your spell, center and nurture the magic that you're weaving into existence to flow with the spiralic, emergent, sustainable, grand shared web of life. Is that California enough for you? <laughs> Come on, let's go into Michael's right now and shop around. I'm praying we don't have to go to Ikea, but we may have to. and really to lift Sammy's and making it really happy and memorable for the kids, but we're definitely getting food in their bellies. Very, very important. Lattes for me and the kids. I got a lavender latte. Faye's got the golden milk and Boone's got the matcha. Look at the color combo. It's too good. Yes. Amazing. Dino, Boone, hit it. Turn around, Boone. Amazing. You are gorgeous. Dominic and Michelle gave us a red carpet to walk up, and I love it so much. This is so much fun. Yeah. I don't know what they do, but... Yeah, I think you have a park somewhere. I think it's so deserving. <laughs> Hi, beauty. Let's see the shoe. The fit check. Yes, amazing. What? Awesome. Here's to the past. To the past, to the present, and to the future. Oh, cool. yeah. 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 Do you want to take any? Like, yeah. do you want me to put like I'll take both sides? Yeah. Okay, everyone's in the limo before you leave. Yes. Every single person. No That's man left behind. No, no man left behind. <laughs> Nice tape. <laughs> she said, let me close it. All right, all right. Amazing. Have a great time, guys.
I have to show you something about the Turkish rose. Look at this, okay. This is the accoutrement. See the raspberry vibe? So it's raspberry and rose, but watch this. It's a rose jelly. Are you kidding me? Give it to me, rose jelly. Mm. Heaven.